Today we are going to see how to purchase a free trial of Document Extractor, configure it with your sandbox, then switch it to your production. We will see how the documents will be moved from Salesforce to SharePoint while keeping URLs of those documents in Salesforce. If you don't have it already, start your free trial from here. Simply add a free trial to your cart, fill in your information, and place your order. Wait for our confirmation and instructions email. From the instructions email, click complete your registration, fill in your info and click create. Type your configuration name, provide your Salesforce information. We recommend that you try the product first in your sandbox environment. To try the product in your sandbox environment, please choose test and sandbox. Type your sandbox service username. Uh, this is simply a dedicated system administrator whose name starts with documents.extractor. Type the service user password and the security token. Then click test connection. Document Extractor uses the help of managed package with a set of Apex classes and triggers to stop your documents from Salesforce to SharePoint. First release of the managed package Pass the security review of Salesforce. The current release is under the security review. Please go ahead and click the link to install the required latest managed package. Please install it for all users. Once done, you should see the package listed in the list of the installed packages. Go back to the configuration page and click Test connection. This time you will get the success message. Click to SharePoint configuration to configure SharePoint. Provide your SharePoint settings. You need to have a user with enough permissions to read and write documents to the document library where documents will be stored. If you provided correct user credentials with enough access rights, you should be able to see a list of document libraries. Choose the document library you wish to store your documents in, click Test Connection. After you get the success message, click to Stopping Settings button. Document Extractor uses push notifications, which means that the service detects new documents uploaded to Salesforce once they are uploaded. The service uses as well full scan polling mechanism as a backup mechanism to ensure that all files were stopped. It's recommended to increase the interval of the full scan polling to optimize your ABI calls consumption. The default folder name is used to store documents that are not related to any entity in Salesforce. Normally, folder names created in SharePoint are the record names in Salesforce. So for example, attaching a document to an account called James Tech in Salesforce will create a folder in SharePoint called James Tech and upload the document to it. If you want to use Salesforce record GUIDs to mask the account names or for any other reason, then check this option. In case you are emailing from Salesforce and attaching documents to your email, you want to make sure that your users are having enough time to complete the email before the documents are moved to SharePoint. External users shouldn't get links to your SharePoint. To achieve this, set the maximum delay you wish for the email attachments. Documents will be stopped to SharePoint once the user writing the email clicks Send. You could as well synchronize the deletion of files from Salesforce to SharePoint. So files will be deleted from SharePoint when the links are deleted from Salesforce. Configure executions offer you the chance to exclude certain objects from the stopping process. For example, we can exclude the campaign object from the stopping process. Means all documents attached to campaigns will remain on Salesforce and will not be stopped to SharePoint. Finally, you can transfer information about the Salesforce document and the user from Salesforce to SharePoint. Information like created by, description, owner, and version. 
is make sure that those columns are already created in SharePoint document library chosen above. Once done, please click to service activation. You will notice that your activation code is already typed in. If not, then please get back to the email you received from us, copy the token and paste it here. Activate your token, click finish. You can start the stopping immediately. Now click leave wizard. If everything was okay, then you should see started under the status and requested status columns. Let's test the stopping in the sandbox. First of all, make sure that you are logged to Salesforce using a user other than document extractor, service user configured with the service. Here I have an admin user, but it could be any user as well. Now let's go ahead and create an account. Upload a PDF document. And perhaps another PowerPoint. You'll notice that in a few seconds, the documents will become URLs. That's because the actual documents were moved to SharePoint and what we have here are URLs pointing to those actual documents in SharePoint. Salesforce documents will become URLs pointing to the documents which were moved to SharePoint. Clicking the URL of the PowerPoint presentation opens the presentation from SharePoint. User can work with the document and utilize the document management capabilities of SharePoint. Clicking the URL of the PDF documents opens the document from SharePoint as well. Now as we know what to expect, it's time to move it to production. The process is straightforward and similar to what we have done earlier. Let's go back to our service configuration and stop the service so we could switch it to production. Start by changing the name of the configuration, then choose production instead of sandbox. Remove the sandbox postfix from the username, provide the correct password and security token, and test connection. Install the required package again, but this time to production as we did before with the sandbox. Test connection again to get the success message. Change your SharePoint to production if required or choose a different document library. Change any settings you wish as explained earlier. Once done, click save. Start the service. Go to your production org. Ensure that you are testing using a different user other than the document extractor service user. Create an account, upload a document. And as we saw with the sandbox, a folder with the name of the account would be created in SharePoint. Under it, the document would be moved from Salesforce. And of course, you will have in Salesforce a URL pointing to the document in SharePoint. All right. So in this video, we saw how to purchase a free trial of Document Extractor, configure it with your sandbox, then switch it to your production. We saw as well how the documents were moved from Salesforce to SharePoint while keeping URLs of those documents in Salesforce. If you have any questions, please contact us. Have a good one.